With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The probability that particular nucleus of 38 Cl will undergo beta decay in time interval of 10 to the power minus 3 second. The half life of 38 Cl is 37.2 minutes is. So, the probability of a nucleus going through a particular kind of decay is constant in all the time intervals throughout its decay. That means that if I am talking about an interval of 10 to the power minus 3 seconds, so no matter when I take that 10 to the power minus 3 second, it does not matter, the probability will remain same. So what I mean by that is that initially let's say I had A0 number of nucleus. So at, if I take the time interval from t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 or if I take the time interval from t is equal to 37.2 minutes to t is equal to 37.2 minutes plus 10 to the power minus 3 in both of these time intervals the probability if the probabilities were p1 and p2 the probabilities will remain the same so i can take any of the time intervals and the probability will remain same now the probability for any event is given by favorable outcome upon the total outcomes so, as I said, I can take any time interval. So, let's say I am taking the interval uh, where t from t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 10 to the power minus 3. So, that means the total nuclei that could have gone through beta decay or the total, uh, total outcomes in this case will be A0. Now, favorable outcome will be the ones that can go into beta decay. And the particles that can go into beta decay must be the particles which have gone through any decay at all. So that means the favorable outcome will be the favorable outcome will be the nuclei that have decayed during the time interval t. And the nuclei that have decayed during the time interval t will be equal to the initial number of nuclei minus the number of nuclei at the end of time interval t upon A0 will give me the probability. Now, the number of nuclei at any time t is given by A0 e raised to the power lambda into t. This should be minus. So, at any time t, the number of nuclei left is given by A0 e raised to the power minus lambda into t. Lambda, lambda is given by ln2 upon t half, t half in the question is given as 37.2 minutes. So, ln2 upon 37.2 into 60 seconds which will give me 0.00031 zero five four nine now from here i can get a at t is equal to a naught into e raised to the power minus ln2 upon t half into the time t which is 10 raised to the power minus 3 which means the probability p probability p will be equal to a naught minus a naught into e raised to the power minus ln2 upon t half into 10 to the power minus 3 seconds upon A0 which is equal to 1 minus E raised to the power minus ln2 upon T half into 10 to the power minus 3 which gives us probability P is equal to 3.1 into 10 to the power minus 7. So the probability of beta decay is 3.1 into 10 to the power minus 7. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.